if you grew up poor, you developed something a little different. Going through suffering or pain helps you develop a little differently. I like guys who just are gritty. I'm not the greatest. I want to be the greatest. And I'm willing to put in the time and effort. And I feel like those guys have a lot of substance and a lot of soul. Overcome adversity kind of attitude. When I was a kid, I hated being poor. Now being older, I almost like appreciate it a bit. I don't know, who would I be if I, if I grew up rich? I call it poor man's mentality. Think about the poorest you've ever been in your life, and I've been there. And think of everything you were willing to do. You have to stay hungry. This is the time to grind. You were so in the mode of uh, accomplishing. You were in the hunt. You said, if you want to accomplish your goals, you have to cut everything else out. And you need to go all in on, on the one thing. And it was just crystal clear that nothing else mattered to you. That that was it. I know what it's like to feel broke, you know? And that was a massive drive for me to become, you know, something. Nothing's been given easy. Everything has come from trials, tribulations, failures. This is truly earned. People will look at me and say I'm all, I'm very humble, but I'm incredibly driven, I'm incredibly confident, and you have to be. I've fallen so many times, and I've taken a lot of L's, but every time I've got back up, I'm fucking different. In order to achieve strong character, you have to go through hard things. Not folding when things are tough. But life is up and down for everybody. Sometimes life is sunny. Sometimes there's a fucking storm. You know, that's life. What are you going to do in the storm? You're going to fall down, you're going to start crying, or you're going to weather the storm and come out the other side. We did not have a lot of money. My father had left the picture very early in my life. The house we lived in was a trailer home. Growing up now and seeing how I lived, it was definitely a lot different than a lot of kids. My mom was always really hard on me. like. You have to work harder than the average person. You can't just be good. You have to be great at everything you do. I took that to heart. I've always felt like I've been the underdog in life. <clears throat> Coming from a poor family, having to dig myself up. Not having people or, or the resources to help me get to the point where I need to be. I want to show people that if you have a dream, you can reach it, you can attain it, you can do anything you put your mind to. If you put your all into it. One more time. I got you. Yep. Come on, let's go.
Life ain't fair, man. I learned that real, very early on as a kid. Shit happens. We had nothing. It was me and my mom in a car. And that was our home for a minute. You cry about it, you can complain about it. What good's that gonna do? Your childhood has a huge, huge effect on the man or the woman that you become. You come from a bad situation, and they become just like that, or you say, fuck that, I'm not living like that. And my kids aren't gonna grow up the way I grew up. I didn't have anything, but I did, it didn't bother me at all. I was just happy that I was just immersed in this goal. All-consuming goal, and it was, it was exciting. It's just all down to me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do this. I'm just with through sheer will. And every day, I've got to give 100% on that day of what I can do towards this goal. And it's important to. Believe in yourself. Come on, we're going to show them. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Come on, take Come on, take deep. Win or lose, succeed or not, this is going to be down to me. Go on, go on, go on. I'm on. 